the last day of my bike trip before flying out of Halifax, I was fortunate enough to be welcomed by the education team at the Halifax Discovery Center, who were practicing for the Abrakazam Roadshow. This is a bit of an atypical video, in part because it was never intended for an audience. You'll notice nothing is staged, and if anyone looks at or addresses the camera, it was simply by coincidence or because they were addressing me as a person. More than the activities themselves, I want to showcase the discussions and creative collaboration which go on behind the scenes here. Notice how they encourage each other and enthusiastically build on each other's ideas and have fun trying out new things. To me, this is what science education is all about. Love what you're doing, never stop learning, get excited, and share that love and curiosity with those around you. Thank you again, Kara, Megan, and Tyson, for this window into what science education should be all about. And you're going to say, there, I'm going to say it's 3, 2, 1, and you have to catch the marble for it's going to be a little bit more space, because we're not going to where there's chairs. Um, and you've got to catch it before it hits the ground. All right? 3, 2, 1, go. Try, try again, you can go way faster, you can go way faster than that. Right, three, two, one. <laughs> All right. So, so then, like, uh, we're, we're going to do the same thing, so this time you're going to hold the marble, and you're going to count to three, and you're going to drop it, and I'm going to, uh, sorry, sorry. I'm real fast. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> so it would be cool if you had a ball bearing because yeah, if you need it to look the same, yes. because they might they don't notice the difference. Yeah. Um, the only thing is if you show them this and then swap it for this one when you drop it. Sure. So That's that good. you know they might not notice it once it hits the ground. But yeah, getting something visually the same. if you combine the two and you had that full of ethanol? 
I do no. want to try this. I now. think that's an outdoor experiment. <laughs> <laughs> no? No, it's totally indoor. We could take the water out and put what I have left in that and do it in there. If it burns, it burns, right? Maybe we should do it on the other side of the room. Well, there's... I don't know if that's the detection. Oh, I think they they got both two detectors. Yeah. We could just move that table over to that side. Should I open the door so there's no more circulation? Sure. This just has the ethanol on the bottom, so the top's really going to burn, which will definitely mm -hmm. catch that on fire. So, I think that's all that's going to happen. Uh, yeah, I'm not confident. I don't want to watch it. No, I'm pretty confident. Yeah, I think we should. Yeah, definitely should. Okay, good. Let's move that pot down. Like liquid inside, if there's enough ethanol still in it. Yeah. It may already be burning the ethanol, and the flame is just not that visible. I, I think it is. Um, yeah, the amount of heat coming off there is probably not the ethanol. Yeah. 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 Yeah, because it's definitely keeping it going. The paper wouldn't keep it that much of a flame. No. Well, not that blue of a flame. No. That's just very smooth. Yeah. Right. But then the question is, do we just wait till this burns out? No. Okay. <laughs> that was cool.